Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to our King William the Conqueror playthrough. I hope that you enjoyed the first episode. I asked you all at the end of the episode where you think we should try and expand into next is King William. Lots of you said Wales and lots of you said France as well. So um, with France we do need to claim, get some claims first before we can actually go to war with France for anything really other than one very small region here of Vexin. So we won't be doing that just yet but we will start getting claims on france so let's um start trying to fabricate claims on anjou and we'll try and get the harm duchy of anjou if we can as it is next to normandy and we do have the prestige to go to war so we probably will go for wales as you guys said we've got powers here which is a pretty decent chunk of northern and central wales if we try and claim that first but we could also go for Brittany, which would be a pretty decent amount of land to take and it would also give us more power on the continent so i am tempted to go for Brittany instead so at least then we are getting some of france i suppose like you guys said and no one's really going to challenge us i don't think for powers but you never know if the france could uh the french could try and take Brittany. so we should probably try and take that first and as i said it will give us double the amount of land in northern france making us a lot more secure around normandy but we do need to finish um our ambition at the moment of seeing the realm prosper so we'll unpause for now while we wait for that to happen and we'll try and do some more things that we can do to get our prestige up if we can get 2000 prestige we could go to war with powers and Brittany, both one after the other and expand a lot of land our steward senoreed has collected a special teeth in middle Essex. perfect 18 gold pretty much it's not a bad amount let's just forward along so we can get our ambition out of the way and get everybody on side i don't think we have any dangerous fact increased council power in england count of essex i know what will change your mind if we give you the duchy of bedford including the lower titles send that will get you more on side i'm guessing now and we need a new advisor who have we got let's go hmm, with the duke of york the grand old duke of york right um Master of the Hunt, let's go for Duke of Hampshire, Cup Bearer, William, Duke of Gloucester, our son, everything else is full by the looks of it, I think, yes, perfect, but hopefully that'll end that faction as well now, hopefully, we could send our Spy Master to, he's currently studying technology though, no, we'll send him to Scheme in Essex to end that faction, we don't want any factions if we can help it. Hopefully we will get some good claims on the areas around Anjou though while we wait. At least then when we have Brittany and some of Wales, hopefully we'll have enough power to maybe go to war with France then and expand our lands. Duke Morker of York has used out the title County of Hull from Redwald Donington. Okay. Uh, Pirate of um, Sumeterian Peasant Revolt was declared Peasant Revolt for Somerset on King William the Conqueror. The peasants have risen up in Somerset, Somerset led by a disgruntled former soldier. The rebels have the nerve to demand independence. Okay, news has reached court that a claimant to my titles, Prince Godwin, is hiring men for an attack on me. Okay, Prince of England. Okay, Prince Godwin. Ah, okay, Harold. Is that Harold Godwinson's son? Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's slow things down then that's our ambition going to be ruined now isn't it the realm isn't going to um let's have a look two thousand men in that peasant army i've got a thousand here from essex how many men can we get from oxford 900 westminster 250 is that it really warwick you should be able to give us a hell of a lot of manpower yes there we go everybody meet up in oxford then we'll get this army together take down this peasant revolt gives us a little bit of something to do doesn't it whilst we wait to press uh, well force the vassalization over Brittany and powers hopefully it'll give us some prestige we only need 400 prestige once we've got a bit of gold we can maybe host a tawny or a feast or something like that to gain more prestige as well there we go three and a half thousand men that should be more than enough men to take care of this small petty peasant revolt down in Somerset let's send the troops down there to take care of that as I said, it's, this is going to be, a, yeah, there we go, a very easy crushing victory. 
Perfect. Duke Edwin of Warwick has declared Duke Edwin of Warwick's war to revoke Leicester on Count Robert of Leicester. Okay. You don't have enough titles, Duke of Warwick. And there we go. Let's offer peace to this peasant revolt. Enforce demands. Send. The peasant revolt for Somerset has ended. King William of England has won. And Peter, a lowborn Anglo-Saxon, is now in our court. And we will execute you for rising up. We lose 20 Pieter, but I don't care. We want to make sure that we don't get any more of these we'll punish them harshly and hopefully we don't get too many peasant revolts right let's disband that unit now and it hasn't ruined our see the realm prosper has it no perfect so we'll carry on letting that happen okay the irish a couple of the irish lords seem to be ex extending their lands which is interesting but it will make it easier for us when we try and force vassalization so uh so the godwin prince came over here did he? he's hiding in your land's over in Ireland, is he? Whereabouts is he hiding? He's not pressed the claim just yet, and I can't see him getting enough manpower to do so. We've got quite a decent amount of manpower. Well, once Warwick decides to stop fighting, that is. Let's afford things along. What in what things can we do decision-wise to try and get ourselves a little bit more um, prestige? Just the other day, sculling as I often do, I caught Duke Morker of York and my half-sister, Edeline, in, in, in Flagnerit. They didn't notice me, but I am still in shock. She is a married woman, by God. Scandalous, they must be exposed. The flesh is weak, forgive and forget. I smell profit. Well, no, we'll forgive and forget because Duke of York does actually like us at the minute, so we'll leave that as is. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions if the proper leverage is obtained. Yes, let's ask politely. He's got a 100% opinion of us. Hopefully, he'll do as he's told. We could hold a feast, lose 25 gold, gets us a tiny bit of prestige. Um, Honoured King, thank you for reminding me of my duties and obligations as your vassal. You are right, of course. For the foreseeable future, you have my promise not to support factions conspiring against you. Perfect. Let's have a look at our... Perfect. No factions now. Right. We could search for a smith, but we haven't got enough money for that. How much do we need to hold a grand tournament? 200 gold. But we do gain 100 prestige. Awesome. So we'll wait for that. We'll go for the tourney instead, because that's going to give us a lot of prestige and put us one step closer to having enough to press two vassalization wars. Young Robert has finished his education in the way of the faith and learning. I notice with pride that he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Mastermind theologian. Perfect. Duke Robert of Normandy. Really good learning. That's that's great news. Perfect. So hopefully he'll make a good king after us. Excellent. An unmarried heir. Right. Can we not like try and marry you to the heir of Aquitaine? Because that would be so good if we could. But it's not allowing us to because you're not actually in our court, which is quite annoying. Um, arrange marriage between Robert, Duke of Normandy, and no, and 50 year old woman. No, so we haven't got anything that we can actually do with you at the moment. Let's forward along and get that 200 gold so we can get that prestige. And we also want to end this realm prospering achievement as well. Uh, Duke Edwin of Warwick has used out the title county of Leicester from Robert de Beaumont. No, my home city has been taken. And here we go, we've nearly got the 200 gold. William is obsessed with his looks. He often avoids playing with other children just for fear of getting his clothes dirty or ruining his hair. Is this the homosexual one? Yeah, it is, isn't it, William? Yes, Duke of Gloucester. He should show more ambition, becoming ambitious. Um, no, I don't want him to get ambitious because he will be a younger brother. So when we play as our heir, we don't want an ambitious brother. Um, I would like to invite you to join me for a small gathering of friends to dine and drink. Forget about the world outside for a little while. Be, please be prepared to reserve a few days for this in case we get truly into the spirit of the proceedings. Of course I will come, of course. Perhaps the glass is fuller than I believed it to be. We lose the trait cynical. And there we go, we've got our 200 gold so we can now host our tawny and get that prestige that we want Oh, but we can't at the moment because we're busy feasting. That's fine. As he is growing older, I can see that William could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of William. Right, he deserves greatness. Get ambitious. Make your move at the right time. He gains the trait patient. William must let... Mm, I don't really want him becoming ambitious. Then he becomes bitter rivals with Duke William. We don't want that. Yes, we'll go for patient. We want to keep things secure for our heir. As secure as possible anyway. Having two landed brothers and a landed uncle could speak, be a lot of trouble when William does die. 
Uh, I have arrived at the private rooms of Duke Edwin. There is plenty of food and drink here. The mood is decidedly merry. I am looking forward to this. Yes, and we get a bit of prestige from that as well. Awesome. So we're at 1700 prestige already. Once we hold our tournament, we should have plenty of prestige. I suggested to Duke Edwin that we bring out the board in pieces to play and see who is the better strategist. He is accepted on the condition that we play for money. Very well, let's play. We play for hours, the tide of fortune ebbing and flowing as I tried to attack my opponent's position without opening my defence too much. Eventually, I found a critical opening and made a few inspired and aggressive moves and won the game. Hail to the king. Right, are we going home now so that we can hold our tourner? The revelling carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. Right, now, let's host our Grand Tourner. 200 gold, but I just want that prestige. And we'll hold a feast after as well, maybe, or a summer fair, which will give us a little bit more prestige as well. Let's forward things along for our Tourner. There we go. We're only 100, just over 150 away now from having enough prestige to... We'll go for Powys and we'll go for Britannia. Two massive chunks of land in one go. Taking half of Wales and all of the Duchy of Britain. Matters of life and death. With age comes wisdom, they say. Or at least it may change the questions we ask. You mutter to yourself. You have had trouble sleeping lately. More often than not, while the rest of your court is sound asleep, you find yourself staring at the ceiling. You are getting older, each day closer to leaving this place of existence. It is folly to fear such things, of course. Yet you cannot keep these failing, the feelings at bay. Didn't you used to dream of grander things? What about your carving out your own path? What happened to your ambitions? You sit up straight in your bed. This is ridiculous. You are the ruler. You have people ready to serve your any whim. Perhaps your counsellors have ideas. If nothing else, it might ease your trouble sleeping. Summon the council. Actually, when I think about it, I've lived a good life. Gain the trait content. No, we want to stay ambitious. So let's summon the council. It is time to let the tournament begin. And for the next few months, let's all show their martial brilliance. This is the time. Grand Tournament, my liege, your Duke Edwin of Warwick has tragically been maimed during the tournament. Ouch. Okay. One-handed. Uh, most unfortunate, but not really that bothered. Um, your guest Baldwin has tragically been wounded during the tournament. Most unfortunate. Meeting of the minds. Your council converts and the faces of your advisors speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down and the suspense is almost tangible. As you leave the question hanging in the air, finally you speak, and without disclosing much of your current nightly restlessness, you convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of my life and death, and I want to look into everlasting life. They nod slowly, so what do you think? The spirit rises in the room as your counsellors start to talk. Some hastily, some gesturing wildly, they all have ideas. Have Duke Edwin organise a search party? I trust Duke William to handle this discreetly. Um, I would rather not make any decisions on my own. Let's send our son to do it. Why not? So we're going a bit crazy. My lead, your guest, Roger de Mowbray, has been tragically maimed during the tournament. What does he lost? He's lost a hand as well. Most unfortunate. And Morka of Durham has tragically been wounded as well. Never mind. We're willing to sacrifice all these people's limbs as long as we get that prestige. My lead, your guest, Count Caddock of Cornwall, was tragically wounded. Most unfortunate. Your guest Rosalind has tragically been killed during the tournament. Oh, our first fatality. My liege, your guest Officer has tragically been killed. Oh, two fatalities. Wow, this tourney is a bit brutal, isn't it? Your guest Senared has tragically been maimed. Another hand gone. And is that going to be the end of the tourney now? We just need to get that little bit of prestige. How much longer have we got? We've only got one more year. Oh, no, is this the last year? This may be the last year of our prospering realm, which is good. So we can finally go to war pretty soon. Edric Athelson bravely won him second place in the Grand Tournament. So who was the winner? William de Normandy has been crowned the winner of my Grand Tournament. Awesome. Okay, our kinsman, Commander of Earth. Uh, the tournament is over and it's now time to bask in the glory. Awesome, everyone's opinion of us goes up. We've got that lovely prestige. What else can we do? Let's get a bit more prestige. Recently, I've noticed the pitiful state of my son, Prince Robert. I have just been informed that the cause of his aches and fatigue is a case of the flu. Call for my physician at once. Let's have a look. We could hold a summer fair. Yeah, let's go for that. Gains us a bit of prestige. Only a little bit, mind you, but it's worth doing. We may as well try and gain as much prestige as possible. Godwin of Prince Godwin's Host has declared Prince Godwin's Host's claim on England war on King William the Conqueror. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll call in our two allies to help. Um, the Summer Fair's archery contest went very well. The clout and the space around it was filled with arrows. Some of them had hit the bullseye. Some of them had missed the clout altogether. The winner was a modest man who disappeared rather quickly after he collected his prize. Good archer, that man. Lose, yeah, we'll just lose the five god where. Okay, so here's the host. Yes, now we've lost our ambition because we are being invaded. Um, 
Let's just go with make a friend then. And at least after this now. That's so annoying because we were so close to finishing that five wars of five years of peace as well. Right. Let's get everyone to meet in Leicester. It's quite central, my hometown. And let's bring the army over from Normandy as well. We'll sail to Lincoln. Hopefully this host isn't too, too strong. It's 150 galleys, so it could be a very strong armor. Uh, dear son-in-law, may you live in hiding contentment. Of course, I will honor my obligations and answer your call to war. Perfect. Unmarried heir. Right, let's see what marriage we can get for you. Highest ranking marriage that we can get. A princess of Norway. That's pretty good, actually. Send. Can we get an alliance with Norway? I know they do own parts of Scotland at the moment. Let's have a look. We'll send that off. Is it his sister? It must be his sister. Yes. Hopefully we can get an alliance with Norway. Uh, to the diligent King Wingdom, blessed number you and your house. Of course, I will honor my obligation and answer your call to war. So Tulu are on their way. And hopefully, yes, um, Flanders are already on their way as well, which is perfect. Uh, murmurs are singing outside the townhouses while slowly moving towards my castle. The summer fair suddenly felt less pleasant as the mummers clad in strange clothes went from door to door, singing and frightening small children. I think they were getting if they uh, they are wrong if they are getting welcome. We lose ten pieter. I can't wait. I love mummers. We gain the trait Gregorish. Yeah, let's go for that. We've gained that trait. Awesome. The peddlers are loading their wares and merchants are taking down their stalls. The jugglers strolling, players and other entertainers are preparing to leave. The summer fair is over for this year. Gain 10 prestige. Right, how strong is this arm? Okay, he's got a few thousand men. If we can get all our armies together though, we should have more men. Let's march the army that's in Lincoln over. Have they accepted? Yes, offer non-aggression pact. No, not interested. Has he married her? Yeah, maybe he'll sort an alliance with her then. At least she hasn't had any children or anything like that then. That's good. Right. Merge together. 7,000. Have we got any better commanders? Not really. So we'll leave it as it is. Let's take on the 4,500 army first and smash that of Prince Godwin's host. And then we'll smash the other army. Hopefully we can get him as a prisoner so that we can execute him and stop any claims that he might have in the future. The Battle of Chester. In the chaos surrounding the Battle of Chester, my men cornered Prince Godwin of England, who was cut down with ease. The symbols of high rank on his uniform apparently went unnoticed until a soldier stumbled over his corpse. Good riddance. Gain 15 prestige. Awesome. So that ended that war very, very quickly, which is perfect for us. Let's disband that fleet. Right. We nearly have 2,000 prestige, but we will now go for Brittany. It'll probably be a lot easier to take Brittany as well because we have our French allies who are a lot closer that way. And then we'll go for Powys afterwards. Promises in the dark. Your spy master finds you in the night, start uh, startling you awake. Sorry, master, but the walls have ears. I dared not come during the day, he says. Somebody is on my track. I could use some help throwing them off my scent. No, no, don't worry. It means that we're getting closer. He whispers a confident smirk, only just visible on his face. There's a legend you see, and, well, we're very close to locating a certain person who can help. But we're not the only one who's looking for her. I could pay for disguise. That's a lot of gold. I'm going back to sleep. You shoo William away. Um, I'm going to shoo him away because I want the money to invade. I want to invade Brittany. Right. Declare war. Force the vassalization of Brittany. Send let's call up our armies call in our two allies perfect let's call up our fleet so that we can get everybody oh, oh i don't need to call up i don't need to get you on your fleet there we go let's actually yes you get on your fleet as as well and let's... Where should we get everyone to gather for now? Let's all gather in Sussex. Oh, yes. Get all the men down in Sussex. Get all the fleets in Sussex as well. Can you embark your army, please? And go to Sussex. Get everyone gathered there. Everyone together. And then we'll sail over to Brittany. Along with our two allies, we can hopefully take that and expand our land. To the glorious King William, blessing upon you and your house. Of course, we'll honour my obligation and answer your calls to war. Perfect. Hopefully Flanders is going to do the same. Yes, they are. Perfect. Great news. Five, six thousand men here. Let's merge them all together. Wait for the rest to come down. Oh, we've left some ships behind. Got more than enough ships to carry our entire army over to Britain. Merge everyone together. And here, is that the Brittany ships on the way? Yes, they are. Perfect. So... We'll destroy the Brittany host before we sail over. At least then they'll be fully 
undefended. Whereabouts are they going to land? Straight for Middle Essex. Isabel Uergel, the wife of King Sancho of Aragon, has been spending a few days in Middle Essex. It's been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our people are not that different after all. Yes, we'll write a letter to him. Hopefully we can get an alliance with some of the Spanish. Right, march up to Middle Essex and end that army and let's sail our ships around to Middle Essex for boarding afterwards. Hopefully we'll crush that entire army. Dear King William, it is this agreement can lead to a better understanding between our people. I will put effort into opening our borders to visitors from your realm. Perfect. We've managed to get an alliance with King Sancho of Aragon. Perfect. Can we form an alliance with you? No, not just yet. Maybe if we send some gifts and such afterwards, we'll be able to do that. And there we go. We've crushed the Brittany host. As soon as that's done, we'll board the fleet and sail on down to Brittany. Perfect. There we go. We, they only killed 600 men, but it's not too bad. Young William has finished his education in diplomacy. It seems he has learned all the basic skills required. A underhanded rogue. Very good. Your court chaplain approaches you with a request. My lord, I want your permission to travel to the pagan lands and spread the Catholic faith among those unfortunate people. It shall be for the glory of the lord. Your zeal does you credit. The lord be with you. We'll send you off, but you're probably going to get killed while you're gone. Does that mean that we need a new court chaplain? No. Should we leave some of the army here to take care of them? Do you know what? Yes, we'll split in half. We'll take this 4,200 down to Brittany, and we'll leave 4,000 here in England just to defend it from that Brittany army which is hanging around. We've got Geoffrey in charge. Let's put Frederick with you and Raoul. Ra Raoul, it looked like Raoul. It probably doesn't say that. Let's march over westward because it looks like that's where the Brittany army is going. Let's dock the other army in the capital of Brittany. Looks like the Tolu army is already here. Awesome. Already doing their job, which is great news. Soon after Haridan arrived in Pojanmar, po po High Chief Marco ordered his imprisonment. Your court chaplain is now languishing in the dungeon of this pagan lord. Who can tell what the savages will do to him? Vile heathens. Well, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? It was obvious that was always going to happen. So we need a new court chaplain. Um... Bishop of St. Paul's, and let's send you to improve religious relations with the Pope again. Okay. This mortal coil, in spite of all his efforts, Duke William II's search for information on how to prolong the life of his master has turned up fruitless. Disappointment is written all over your face as you rise to leave the council meeting. He avoids your gaze for months, but he's not the only one. Whenever you enter the room nowadays, people grow quiet. The rumour says you're dying, in a sense is it is true, but aren't we all? You still have trouble sleeping. Was life always this awkward? Oh, that useless William. You consider firing Duke William. It'd feel good, wouldn't it? Isn't that our son, though? <laughs> No, I don't really want to fire off some. Where is that Brittany army gone? Has it? Is it sailing home? It's disappeared. We'll leave that army there. Let's sail the fleet back to Dorset and we'll bring this other army there just in case. I think the Brittany army may be sailing home. So we could always bring those troops over to help out this second unit. Yes, that Brit Yes, they're bringing men home and they've decided to dock straight into the capital. They're going to get slaughtered. What a stupid thing to do. Oh, well, it means we can bring our... Second army over and siege northern Brittany. Let's dock here near Leon and take that under control. Actually, we'll go and attack. Oh, they've, they've got back on the ships. It's okay then. We'll stay here and get this under siege. Do you know what? Let's split in half and we'll send 1900 to Leon to get that under siege. Split our army up and siege Brittany as quickly as possible. Split in half. Let's move 2,000 over here and get that under control. And hopefully then it won't be that long until we have Brittany fully under control. We're already at 80%, so it's not going to take long at all. And it's going to give us a lovely huge chunk of land in northern France, just like you guys wanted. Agatha says her favourite toy is missing and she won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. Why are we tidying up? Um, I'll offer to buy her new one. Yeah, we'll do that. We don't want to lose the prestige. May I offer to purchase a new toy? It was rejected Agatha, um, by Agatha. She is upset. I would even suggest such a thing. Okay, never mind. At least we didn't lose any prestige, though, because we only need 40 on prestige until we can go to war again straight after this war, which is what we want to do and claim Powys and claim Wales, and then we'll go for Southern Wales and get everything under control. 
Still waiting for those claims on Anjou, young Ranulf loves doing things his own way and often takes it personally and gets angry when others offer opinions. I should help him, guide him in the right direction, get in the diligent trait. Yes, definitely. 86%, so we're almost finished. After I told Robert it was time to head on home, he looked at me with a grin on his face and told me to race him home, leaving me to carry everything on my own. Race him. May gain playful. Robert never seems to be grumpy, always playing without a care in the world. It will change. Right, we are losing men here because the supply line's a little bit smaller. Should we split that in half then? And let's move a thousand over here. Try and keep all the supply lines nice and healthy here. We're almost, we've almost won anyway, 90%. We've just got to get somewhere else under siege. We've almost sieged the capital. There we go, 95. One more siege should do it. We've literally demolished their entire army apart from these 117 men here. Oh, and there's 46 down here. So yeah, we've demolished the army of Brittany. Brittany shall soon fall to us. A son was born to Drogo de Brevio and Eleanor de Normandy. Okay, nice. 99%. Come on, one more siege. All you've got to do is finish taking Brocre and we're done. I do apologise if I'm saying a hell of a lot of these names really badly wrong. This war should give us the prestige we need as well. There we go. Offer peace. End forced demands. Send. The English Breton vassalisation war has ended. King William of England has won. And two card titles can be created. The Kingdom of Brittany and the Duchy. We'll create the Duchy for now. Send. King William the Conqueror has created title at Duchy of Penfrey. Awesome. Let's disband all... Oh no, we can't just check the wars haven't ended. We won't create the Kingdom just yet because... We don't want to grant that to somebody. Let's dock the fleet for now. We want to keep the Brittany Lord on side. He's probably not going to like us very much. There we go. Can we now disband our armies? Yes, all five will stand down. Perfect. Um, heeding the call. A stranger has appeared at your court. She says she will only speak to you, my lord. A servant bows before you, clearly annoyed. You pause. What is this about? The times are busy in Middle Essex, and you were in the middle of contemplating whether you should have a grand feast thrown in your name or arrange for a prestigious hunting trip. There is always someone to impress, and you would rather not get involved in the drama of the court. You glance at the servant, still bowing deeply. Very well. In the main hall, a hooded figure approaches you. Intriguing, a woman named Sam Daguta appears at the court. Send her away. Intriguing. Could get a good spy master. Yeah, we don't want to create that kingdom title just yet. Let's have a look at you. You absolutely despise us, but we could grant you the lighter title. Um, this duchy here should make you on side. It'll improve your opinion of us, so we'll send you that. You can have that under you in Britain. Can we send you a little gift as well? Yeah, which will improve your relation, uh, your opinion of us massively. So hopefully that will keep you on the side. Obviously, you're going to be upset because we have just taken your lands. But hopefully, we can keep you on side that way for now. We've still got more than enough prestige as well to press our claim on Powys. Now, oh, what has happened in Powys? Okay, it's split up by the looks of it. We've got an extra kingdom now in Wales, which is interesting. Now, which one do we go for? Hmm... Now I'm not sure which kingdom we should go for next. Let's have a look. Can we force vassalisation of Scotland yet? No, only go for the du jour claim on Cumbria. We'll go for... Let's go for this northern area. The King Mad Madog. King Madog of Gwynedd. Let's declare war. We can't offer... You're never going to accept offering vassalisation, are you? No, so let's force the vassalisation of you. I don't even think we will call in our allies because we'll piss them off if we invite them in too much. Let's call in the fleets. I didn't need to call them all in to be honest but we need to bring you over. Well we actually get a decent sized army from Brittany. Well not a massive army but a better army than I was expecting if I'm honest and we'll board you on the fleets as well and let's sail you over here. Let's get everybody to meet up. Can we meet up in Oxford? Let's get everyone to meet up in Oxford. Bring everyone over, get our armies ready. An intriguing encounter. When you heard about the alleged mystic, you pictured someone very youthful. However, you did not picture a child. At first, you are inclined to laugh. Who is this bizarre little girl? 
However, you can tell within minutes that Sambaguta is no ordinary child. Her somber manners are actually rather unsettling. She tells you tales of faraway realms and distant times, heavy with symbolism and hidden meanings. While it is very strange to hear such words spoken by someone so young, the vividness of her stories makes you wonder if she has experienced them all herself. She promises to tell you more if you accept her as a teacher. Wow, 21 alert. Wow, wow, who is? I've not had this before. She's a Buddhist. Okay, let's go for the... Mm, we'll leave that empty for now. Um, I will accept your teachings. What do we do? We lose 100 piety consorts with infidels. This is outrageous. Leave at once again 100 piety Blasphemy in the name of God. Imprison this filthy heretic. Uh, what do we do? What do we do here? We're going to upset a lot of people for that. No, we'll... This is outrageous. Imprison her for now. Yes, there we go. We'll do that. We don't want to turn the faith against us. Not yet. We don't have enough power to do such things just yet. Okay, so we'll gather all our troops up ready for the attack on Northern Wales. Young Selina has finished her education in the ways of faith and learning. I notice with pride that she has attained at nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Master, uh, <clears throat> mastermind ph theologian. Awesome, that's really good. And she, she's betrothed to to Lou, isn't it? Well, they can marry now. She, um, Young Silesia is showing a strong tedious toward prideful behaviour. She can become ambitious because hopefully it will help us claim um some of that to Lou land betrothed can marry yes we'll send that off one child lacking an education focus our daughter let's have a look um let's go for diplomacy perfect let's carry on getting our men together so the most excellent king william may live in harming contentment i accept the suggestion that princess cecilia and duke gulfem get married perfect everyone march to oxford please let's disband all these fleets we don't need them didn't mean to call them all up in the first place. Um, let's disband these fleets. And they've got their men off now, haven't they? Yep, so we can disband those as well. Right, a thousand men the Welsh have got. Right, okay. Easily take care of this. We've got more than enough manpower. Let's march up to Warwick. Um, to Worcester. Right, but we'll end this episode here and we will take the northern provinces of wales at the start of the next episode and then we're gonna have to gain up a bit more prestige so we can take the rest of wales thank you all so much for watching as always i really do appreciate it please don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe if you did enjoy and hopefully i'll see you all very soon for my next video